<laughs> hey! 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 That was a very, not very exciting response. Hey! Hey! All right. Karen, 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 where's Karen? Right here, guys. Karen, don't you know that most handguns do not shot. have the stopping power to effectively handle the undead? These shotguns and high-powered rifles. I mean, come on. I, I, I was actually talking to this girl. I used to be like, in a serious relationship. You know, right? Like, when I was talking to this girl, I was like, you know, like, you know, we need to really talk about, you know, our zombie escape plan. Because, you know, I believe every family should have a zombie escape plan. Yeah, you know, we're not together anymore. Um, but, um, yeah, so what's up, guys? Uh, I think the coolest thing that I can say has already been said. And that's what Lionel says, sort of omens give you sight beyond sight. Like, that's the coolest thing that's ever been said. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna hang out with you guys. I mean, fuck, fuck the rest of you guys. I'm, I'm hanging out with the nerds. What's going on, guys? Is that all right? So I'm trying to learn how to play guitar. And, uh, I started playing Zelda, right? And I, I realized, man, I'm fucking learning to play the wrong instrument. You need to pick up the ocarina. Ocarinas fucking do everything. <laughs> Open doors? Drain lakes? Summon a whirlwind that takes you across Hyrule? Fuck guitar, man! What's guitar gonna do for me? I fucking need to get me an ocarina, man. So uh, I met this girl, right? Oh, this is for you guys. I met this girl, but where I met her is kind of weird because I met her at a, a magic tournament, right? Now, uh, who, who who here has been to a magic tournament? You guys are kind of amazing. Who else has been to a magic tournament? Look, if you've never been to a magic tournament, uh, let me just kind of try to describe it to you. Uh, not much estrogen. Doesn't, doesn't smell too good. Most people there kind of look like Andy Fleming if you've been on like a three week binge of animal art and anime. <laughs> yeah, so, so, you know, I thought, you know, I was like, well, that's odd, you know, here's a. I, you know, decently attractive girl at a magic tournament. I can kind of look past the chest hair and the unibrows. <laughs> you know, so, so I was trying to, like, I was trying to figure out what to say to her. I'm like, you know, how do I approach her? Because, I mean, usually when I'm trying to approach a girl, you know, I say like, you know, something typical, like, can a brother holler at a shorty? Or something like that. Well, it's like, you know, maybe I should say something like, you know, if we both play magic, we have something in common already. Um, you know, if you think that there's something wrong with a 30-year-old man playing with cars that have pictures of unicorns on them, there is. Um, so I was like, I know, I know, baby. That's what I said to her. I said, baby, a chroma angel of wrath ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> Except flying, trample, hay, splish from black, splish from red, <laughs> first strike, 6-6. Six, six. But yeah, she liked it. She liked it. She thought that, you know, she thought it was sweet that I thought that she was more valuable than a $12 rare. Um, so she's cool. She's cool. She's got a really awesome collection, man. <laughs> you should see her rares. Her badass. Uh, I just joined her for the trades, really. It's the only reason why I got with her. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, I didn't know where to take her out on a date. Like, I was like, where do you take a girl that likes magic on a date? You know, I don't want to take her somewhere typical. I was like, I don't know, I mean, yeah. you, know, you know, should I take it to a magic tournament? We were just at a magic tournament, but that seems like redundant, you know, so where do I take her, you know? And really, you know, I didn't want to take her to a magic tournament because I didn't want to spend the evening tapping, man, I want to spend the evening tapping that ass. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, I, I took her to the only place that made sense. The, the, the only place where, you know, you can find all the nerd things in one location, you know, uh, 8-Bit Nintendo, Lord of the Rings Trilogy, Dungeons and Dragons books, everything. I took it to my bedroom. Yeah. And um, it was cool, though. We, we made out watching some anime in Japanese. <laughs> we made out in Japanese with subtitles. It's awesome. Yeah. So, but, uh, not hanging out with her anymore. It didn't work out. She said those, those dreadful words to me. You know what those dreadful words are? Anybody know what I'm talking about? It's just, you know, you've heard this before. So I started playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> Whenever someone tells you 
So I started playing World of Warcraft. That's the last thing you ever hear him say. <laughs> And then you never hear from him again. And then the next thing you hear, if you do hear him talk to you again, is, yeah, man, I'm trying to quit playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't do it anymore. I don't have the money. But, uh, okay, that's, that's all I'm going to do tonight for my second. Before I, before I get off the stage, I just want to kind of do a tribute, okay, to my favorite comic. Uh, you know, uh, I just want to, everybody, just give a round of applause to Michael Klein. Wow. Michael Klein. Yeah. Yeah. He's a really great comic, you know, I, I just admire the hell out of him, you know, I think he's really, you know, like, a really great comic, you know, I, I just want to, you know, I, I want to compliment him, but, you know, I, I think it's kind of gay, is, is that gay? I want to have for, abortions. Is that gay for a guy to, to give another guy a compliment? What do you guys think, is that gay? No. It's fine, you think so? You think it's cool? Okay, Michael, I, I just want to give a compliment. Oh, don't be a your, uh, your eyes are exquisite. <laughs> um... Um, so, but that's not gay, right? Okay, um, so yeah, I just, you know, like, I like him a lot, he's like a great friend of mine, we hang out, he's like my best friend. I just, I just, I just give you a hug, that's not gay, is it for a man to give his friend a hug? That's not, that's not gay, right? Okay, I just want to give you a hug. Faggot. <laughs> Lovely person. <laughs> I was talking to Gus. Alright, th thanks Michael, that meant a lot to me. But um, okay, so but yeah, as a comic, as a comic, Michael Klein has really inspired me a lot. He's inspired me. Uh, that, that's not gay, right? To be inspired. But that's not gay. That's, okay, Michael, you've you inspired me to write this poem for you. <laughs> this poem I wrote. This is for Michael Klein. When Michael Klein walks down the street, people should cheer and throw confetti <laughs> because his voice is so sweet. And his face is so sweaty. <laughs> Directed live. <laughs> Michael Klein is great. He is really great. There's no need for seconds when Michael Klein's on your plate. <laughs> and I'm tired of magazines saying Michael Klein ain't the thing. That's the average black man any time. It's got to be Michael Klein. <laughs> I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> And, uh, and remember that time when we got drunk and you passed out on a stink mattress and while you were sleeping I cuddled up next to you and just snuggled you all night long? I thought that didn't rhyme, but... <laughs> Michael Klein, you're so fine, your booty's divine. Sup, bitches, my name's Gus and that's my time. <laughs> <laughs>